Today we are going to compile source code. We're going to compile programs from source code. Something I, I wish I have done more in the past. Uh, I do a lot of scripting. I don't necessarily do a lot of compiled languages and I just don't compile a lot of programs, but it's something I should at least be familiar with. But the way I've done it in the past has been a headache. You know, you got to find where the source code is. You go to the project's website or their Git page, hoping that you're at the real one and not some malicious one. Download the source code, unpackage it, go into the directory, and then you need to figure out, do is it a make? Do I type in make, make config? Do I see make? make or do I just GCC something and I, I, I don't know it's like and then you, you start compiling it and it's like you need this library so then I app search for that library I install it hoping that I'm installing the right one then I go to compile again it's like oh well you now you need this library and it goes on and on and on you don't need to do all that the Debian developers have your back they have the Debian repositories with all their applications and everything that's in the default Debian repositories that's compiled they also have a source code repository. And not only will it download the source code for you, but you can get it to download all the required dependencies and applications needed to compile it. And in two commands, you can actually download and compile from source code and not just get it compiled, but it will actually package a deb file for you. And that's what we're going to do today. Super easy. Let's have a quick look. So, the uh, first thing you need to do is go into your app source list, uh, which on, in many cases is going to be in etc app source.list or in the directory etc app source.list.d. Uh, we're going to open up that. And by default, if you're on Debian system, you may have one line that says something like deb and then the repositories you're connecting to, the version Debian you're using, and then the repositories you want to be able to connect to. Now, you may also have a line that looks like this that might be commented out. If so, just uncomment it. If not, you can type it, or again, you can look in the description of this video for all my notes, and there you can copy and paste it, but it's basically the same as up here. I have SID in there because I run SID, which is Debian Unstable. I'm not necessarily recommending that for everybody, but you do deb source, the URL, and then just main or SID main or whatever version of Debian you're using. Once you do that, you save it, you sudo apt update to make sure you update all your, all your repositories. Once you have done that, you can just use apt dash get source. Now I'm in a currently in an empty directory. You don't need to sudo for this because it's just going to pull the source code down to the current directory you're in. So let's pull down nmap, the source code for nmap. I'm going to do that. It's going to pull it down. Shouldn't take too long. I listed out here. I got the tar file uh, that it was, and then they also extract it. I can go into this directory and see all the source code. But now again, I have that same issue of how do I compile this? If you're not familiar with it, you may not know. Again, is it make, CMake, something else? What libraries do I need? So let's go back out into my upper directory here. I'm going to remove everything in this directory and start all over again. Okay, so I'm in an empty directory. What we're going to do now is we're going to sudo apt install a program called apt-src for source. I already have it installed. Okay, so it's not an issue. Uh, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apt-source and I'm going to say install nmap and it's going to pull down the source code similar to before but now you can see I can do apt-source and I can just say build and the program and it will compile that source code for me and again not only will it compile it for you it will compile it for you and also make you a deb file uh, so let's go ahead. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to pause the video here. And, uh, when I come back, it should be compiled. Okay. It's been about two or three minutes and it looks like it's making the dead files now. So I'm assuming it's almost done. I have done this before and it usually only takes three or four minutes on my system. And, uh, yeah, once it's done, I'll have a binary. There we go. It tells me it was six successfully built and it's in this directory. So let me go ahead and change into that nmap directory. And in here, let's see if I do dot slash, uh, nmap. There we go. We have nmap compiled. Perfect. Okay. And also, like I said, if we move back out of here, we can see that it also created some deb files for us. Uh, now let's do a different program. Let's do, um, one that I haven't done before to show you an example of how it pulls down dependencies. Since I had already done this with uh, nmap, it didn't pull down any dependencies. But let me do apt-source install fcf. Now, I didn't do sudo here, 
but when I run it, it's probably going to ask me to, oh, well, I probably already run sudo. Now, you can see it's pulling down, it's saying unmet dependencies, and then it's pulling them down. At that point, it will ask you for a password because it's pulling down dependencies uh, and applications you need to compile it. Now, I have not compiled FZF before, so we'll see how this goes. It should run fine. But as you can see, if I wasn't using this, I'd have to download, I'd have to know to download all these packages. And I don't even know how you know that other than trying to compile it and it telling you you need this. So again, we'll run that same command, but instead of install, we will say build. And I will let go. Now, I don't know how long this one's going to take because I haven't done this before, uh, but it's uh, 5.50 right now. I'll pause the video. We'll see what time it is when I get back. And it is still 5.50. It took about 30 seconds for that one to compile. So it says it's in this directory. Let's go ahead and go into that directory. And we'll list it out. And I'll say dot slash. And you can see it's not in this main directory. And that's something that happens sometimes uh, with netcat. It put it, or nmap, it put it right in the main directory. Netcat also does as well. If you build something and it's not in the main directory, of course, you have, you've got the deb files. Again, if I go back up a directory, you can see the deb files for FCF in here. So you can use those to install. But if you want to test the binary, let's go into FCF. And usually, I will go into the Debian directory within that uh, and then from there I'll go into the folder for the name of the program and in here we'll have USR and we'll list here bin at this point it's kind of like where it would be on a regular system and so if I list this out you can see right there FCF and FCF dash tmux is compiled and there we go, it's running. It lists out the two files and was able to filter through it. So if it's not in the main directory, what you can do is, again, you go into the folder for the application, you go into the dev folder, the folder of the name of the application, and then under there, it's basically the structure that would be installed on your system. So in most cases, it's gonna be USR bin, or uh, if it's a game, uh, for example, Doom, uh, it's actually gonna be under, uh, I think, uh, uh, USR share, Games? Well, let's find out. Oh, one too many dots there. I could have just hit like four and it would brought me back here. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll say apt-src install prboom dash plus, which uh, Debian actually just recently changed. It's not using, oh, what just happened? It download oh, it, that's good. I thought I was building it. So I just downloaded it, and it's actually not PR Boom Plus. They actually just switched. I don't know when, but I just noticed this recently. Is it switched to a uh, a fork of PR Boom Plus uh, called DSDA? But it still recognizes it as PR Boom Plus uh, in the repository. So we will build that, and this one will probably take a couple of minutes. So let's see. It's 5:52 right now. I'll pause the video, and we'll be right back. Okay, it's up oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, about a minute, a lot less time than I thought. So again, let's go ahead and go into uh, the DS uh, Doom folder. And you can see there's no uh, binary right in this main directory, but it made a deb file. And again, that's what this Debian directory is in here. We can go in here and then it's PR Boom Plus. And then in here, it's gonna be a USR share docs. Hmm, that doesn't seem right to me. No. Oh, that's right, because it's not PR Boom Plus. I am going to assume it's in this directory. Maybe. Yep, Debian, USR, games, and then here. DSDA. So depending on where it's going to be installed on the system, it will be in a subdirectory like that. Go ahead and run that. I already have Doom wads installed, so it should see that. And there we go. I have Doom up and running. And uh, let's go ahead and do I need to do any more? Let's actually go back. At this point, let's uh, try modifying some of the source code just to make sure it's compiling from that source, right? I mean, we know it is, but let's go ahead and try anyway. Let's go ahead and go into nmap and then go ahead and run nmap. You see, when you run nmap without any commands, you can see this help file and you can see it says, see the man page. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say grep, just to find what file that is in the source code. I'm gonna say grep for this and we're gonna say in .c, c file. There we go. So we have our main nmap cc file here. We're going to go into that. I will say c 
and we'll say see the man we'll change that just to say see the oops <laughs> cool man right uh, we will back back out and I will app dash source build and map and again uh, it took three or four minutes so it's 556 right now I'm gonna pause this video and check out our compiled application when we get back okay it looks like it's building the dev package which should only take a moment okay so now if we go into our nmap directory and I do nmap it shows our changes perfect now uh, I've known about Debian having the source code on the repositories and I've used the the first version I showed you where I used uh, apt get source uh, but the apt src application is new to me uh, and it makes things so much easier that I might start compiling a lot more myself now I hope this inspires you too because as you can see it's super simple you don't really need to think about anything you know you're getting it from the Debian repositories you know that it's designed for a Debian system you know all the the dependencies are not only in the repositories for your system but you can pull them down and with the one simple command and compile it and I hope this inspires you to compile more applications now I will say like when I just recompiled nmap it took a super long time and I know in the past when I've compiled applications uh, for example PR boom when you go to me make changes and you compile it again it doesn't necessarily compile everything again uh, unless you do a clean command uh, this doesn't seem to do that it took just as long uh, I forgot to look at the time there but you know three four minutes it's it, it seems to recompile everything now again this command is new to me if anyone knows anything different to me to speed that up that's awesome uh, but yeah we're gonna look a little bit more at compiling things from source soon so keep on watching as always visit films by Chris.com that's Chris with the K and as always I hope that you have a great day